Okay, so this is a um, video of a of the Revel after driving it for about uh, two an hour, I would say. Temperature outside is about thirty degrees, and uh, the heat is set to sixty eight, and the current inside temperature is sixty six. So the heater is running. That gives you a little bit of an idea of what is uh, what is going on. Um, in terms of an environment and what I'm going to do now is give you a little overview of the entire um, van and show you the cold spot and the right and the, the cool spot the cold spots are um, blue and the cool spots are I mean the cool spot are blue and the hot spots are yellow so um, the Thermal glass is pretty insulated. This is without the privacy shade, so that gives you an idea. It's about 60 degrees. Um, now, the uh, the van glass, the chassis glass, that's a different story altogether. So here's your first problem, is this glass. And anybody who's spent the night here without putting the, the covers on the front um, can test to that. The second problem, I'm going to go down now, is the flooring. The flooring is probably the... Weakest link, uh, we have a little bit of a, a mat here and that helps a little bit, but you can see there is a, a few degrees difference between the mat itself and the, uh, and the floor. Um, uh, fridge, as you can see when the fridge is running, it actually generates heat, so that helps. Um, Let's walk to back. The, the bed is up, so to get an idea of what's below it. The privacy shade um, is actually doing a pretty good job um, of um, providing some insulation. Uh, the, um, but around the corners, in all the corners, you got a problem. The back doors, once you have the, the, uh, the screen down, pretty reasonable. Uh, some cold spots on this side. Uh, obviously hot spots on the uh, on the starboard side here um, the wheel wells are hotter because we did drive the van and the the brakes generate enough heat that you're seeing about 80 degrees that's probably gonna go back to be more around what the floors are right uh, are uh, are at so the main issue is the floor um, so let me put the bed down and uh, try the ceiling a little bit so I'm gonna back up a little bit and put the bed down. Then we'll look at the ceiling. Now, obviously, heat rises, so uh, we are going to see a little bit more warmth up there. But uh, normally, it's pretty warm, with the exception of um, the the air conditioner. That's a big loss and backing up. Here's a big, another big culprit, which is that fan. Um, you know, it's a 71 degrees, but it's pretty cold. It, you, it feels both drafty and cold. Um, you could see the LED lights because they're, uh, they're metal. They haven't warmed up yet and right along the edges. Um, so I know I've seen some videos of people insulating uh, the back doors, but I can tell you unequivocally, you know, data does not lie. The back door is not the problem. If I was to try to address the issues of uh, insulating on the Sprinter van, I would deal with the floor. I would deal with the front glass, the, the, the chassis glass, and I would deal with the two big holes. What would be useful is to see the van from the outside because the hot spots on the outside are uh, basically the, the heat loss, uh, the source of heat loss. So let's go around. As you can see, the outside is about 25, 26 degrees. Um, see, wherever you have glass, you get a little bit more heat. Um, the doors themselves are reasonably well insulated. So 
sides is insulated. The, the window itself, or especially around the periphery, we got a problem. Ignore the uh, the wheels. Like I said, we drove the van for a bit, and that's uh, um, that contributing to that. That blue spot where the bathroom is, it's probably because the bathroom itself hasn't been heated because the door's been closed. But here's your problems. Uh, the glass, the front glass, um, the Mercedes portion of it. Uh, engine's still hot. Wheels are still hot. Go around. On this side. Again, wherever there's sheet metal, it's pretty well insulated. Where there is glass, it isn't. Okay, so I hope this gives you a good idea um, of what to do if you're trying to insulate your, your uh, Revolex.